Hello guys, today I'm excited to talk to you about a simple, very simple effect, but you know, creative and well thought about, and that really makes it look like it's something outstanding. Um, it's a simple effect I found on TikTok. I actually saw it on Instagram and as an ad or something, just a, a video that played by and I couldn't find it again. And hopefully this is a representation of what I saw that I knew it was something like this. Uh, so today we are going to break down how you can do the effect at home with any of your softwares you are acquainted with. Coming up. Today we are doing this simple effect of call it a trick and uh, I'm going to be using Final Cut Pro. Well, I'll just walk you through the whole thing. But before that, I would like you to subscribe to this channel. I mean, if you're interested in content like this, we are going to be doing more uh, tutorials like this. But basically we do music, music videos, movies and tech reviews. So um, if you're interested in all this stuff, you know, either the how to or you're just into watching movies and interesting content this is the channel you should be i encourage you to subscribe and then click the notification button so you get notified when we drop a video and that out of the way let's jump into this all right so final cut pro few tips i would like to give you before we start is first of all you have to do a shot you have to make the shot and uh, make it look good because the first criteria for this to make this successful is that you need a tripod a camera on a tripod and a stable shot everything that you're going to do is on a stable shot don't shake the camera keep it on a stable shot that's what's going to make this whole thing a success otherwise you have to go through tracking and that's double work all right so number one keep it steady on a tripod not someone else holding it uh, in this shot i was alone and so there was nobody to help me. Um, I could have framed it a little bit better, but I couldn't even see what I was framing. So uh, the bottom line is you want a stable shot. One more thing I need to add is your actor or your talent, in this case, which was me, need to be able to show convincingly, of course, I'm not a great actor. I just know enough to tell people what to do, like directing. The truth of the matter is the whole thing was done in one take, not two takes. So um, the secret is you look at your walk and you imagine in your head like you're jumping up there. You're about to do it, but you're acting like, hmm, I see me there. One take, look, jump, and walk away. Now, what we do now is come to Final Cut Pro, whatever editing software you have, the first thing you could do is get a still, um, still image of the exact frame you want. So um, yeah, we'll scroll back and forth and get the right spot. I think just about there looks good to me. And. On Final Cut Pro, you got a hold option, like uh, um, you got to freeze the frame. I don't know what it's called in other softwares, but you look for a way to get a still image of that particular frame you are interested in. And then I'll stretch the clip. And that clip is going to be, um, that's all I'm going to ex have to export it just for convenience. It's just. It's just I'm doing this just for convenience so I won't have a problem um, scrolling and finding it. So it's all over the place. I'll just take about a minute, um, 30 seconds of the clip. You export that and then bring it back to your timeline alongside with the original clip. And now you can, you know, play it alongside uh, you watch them alongside you can work on your transparency so that you can see both clips and then when you get it right um, when you get to that point when it actually jumps to the frame there's something called composition uh, you have options of uh, of uh, types of compositions and uh, down on this screen if you click uh, your composition option it's got menu for screen um, overlap and um, 
you know there are a couple of options to add subtract you know uh, all that will give you an idea the best way to blend both pictures that i'm just going to see uh, a scroll and see the different options that will work there are many options until you get the one uh, yeah i think this one works this one looks just right this one looks okay all right so i'm gonna go with this one and uh yeah now i'll put it to frame and i'll i'll move the cursor um step by step frame by frame until it just uh jumps into the right well just about there yep 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 i think this is just right so now i've got the exact frame on the actual video i located the exact frame again and then i cut out after the video after um, i get that frame i'm going to cut the rest of the still pictures out so it's only going to be uh, moving pictures now so the first half of the frame is on over the clip on top of the clip and i i've got this uh, composite uh, function on and then when it gets to that point the steel is off there will be only um, movement to go so no more steels there. you play through it and it looks like you just took your body out of the you know freeze frame and walk away pretty simple pretty simple so, you know, i'll try and do a variation and do more the next time but it's just something to give you an idea and um, hopefully somebody learned something today okay so i just did it off uh from the top of my head what i remember it was a girl an asian girl I think a Chinese or Japanese girl uh, that was in that uh, uh, video that I saw. So, uh, but let me know if uh, you got something. Let me know if you found the advert. Then I can go ahead and do a proper tutorial on that exact one. And uh, please like, please like. I appreciate. That. I mean, let's get for once. Let's get like a thousand likes. Okay, let okay. Let's get like a hundred likes for one video. There's nothing wrong with that. It, this will help us help the video train and stuff like that. Catch you in the next video, guys. Peace out.